Hey guys, and how are you doing today? Uh, hey, it's Vero Iggostaviquez from Gadgetwide once again. And today's video, I will be showing you how to bypass the passcode of a phone on 7.1.2 plus. This method will work and is unpatchable. Trust me on this, because I'll show you how. Um, this is a nice iPhone 4S, so this is not any hack to beat for anything or iPhone 4 or anything iPhone 3GS and lower. This is iPhone 4S and will work on all devices and any iOS. Now what you're going to do here is first you're going to want to power on the device. Please note that this bypass will always be working for passcodes, so if you, you know, you have your friend's phone or anything, you want to check out his messages and stuff, yeah, it's easy as that. Um, so yeah, so here we go, um, just waiting for this to load. Um, once this loads up, we can continue with the video. This is for, like I said, universal devices, iPads, iPhones, iPods, all of this will work. It's not strictly to one thing. Alright. Now once your device is booted up, you don't need a, it doesn't matter if you have your SIM in, SIM out, works for CDMA phones, like without the SIMs, like Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, it works for all phones. Now what you're going to want to do here is, I'm going to show you that there is a passcode on here. See, there's a passcode. So, what you're going to do is, now, is you're going to want to get your USB cord. One second, let me get this cord. Alright. Alright, now I have my cord here. You're going to want to plug one end into your computer. And you're going to want to start iTunes up. And then once you have iTunes open, you're going to want to plug in your device. Sorry, this is a bit harder with only having one hand. Oh, there's for that camera. Alright, now once you have the device plugged in, you're going to want to have let it install on the computer. Alright, as you can see, the passcode is not going to let you through. And now what you're going to want to do here is, is you're going to want to go back to the phone um, and make sure the passcode is still on, obviously. Now you're going to need a, now you're going to want to search up a thing called Rackboot. 
Rec boot is spelled R E C boot. No spaces. Now you're going to want, once you download the program, you're going to want to open Rec boot. This is 100% safe. I mean, you don't, I'm not going to provide you with the link, so I don't. You don't think I'm trying to offer you a virus because this is done. And you're going to want to enter recovery mode. Okay, now once you have used the Red Snow Jailbreak, you should be getting an OK right here. It means that the thing has been jailbroken after the toolkit. Now, after that, you're going to reset it by pressing as hard as you possibly can on both buttons right here. and uh yeah there you go um i'll just let the device reset here for a little bit and uh yeah once this is done resetting we can go farther into the video here um, we're almost done now. The hardest parts have already been accomplished. Now, like I said, this is Vero Egonstolis from Gadgetwild Solutions Company. And we just moved into our new offices, and now we're trying to help. So, see, passcode's still on. So now what you're going to want to do is... You're going to want to hold down the power and home button as hard as you can one more time. Oh, oh shit. I did it wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, one more time here. No. Oh, got to switch to my right hand. I got this this time. Don't worry, guys. Hold it down, hold it down. Continue holding the home button. No! No! Come on, one more time. Let's do this. Continue holding the home button. No. All right, I'm just gonna let this reboot, and I'm gonna do it the regular way because obviously it's not working this method. Um, just let me have this reboot real quick. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is, is hold down the power button. Slide the power off. Now just wait for this 
to uh, stop loading and the phone for, you know, fully turn off and everything. Let's go, let's go, come on. Alright. Now what you're going to do is hold the power button for three seconds. Then hold the home button as hard as you can. Then you're going to want to disconnect from the power button. Keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. And there you have it, cloaks. Gadgetwide Solutions. Alright. What you want to do now is you want to take it to the device and plug it back into your computer. Are you kidding me right now? Let's try this again. And there you have it. I just heard the noise in the computer. I don't know if you could hear that through the phone, but uh. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go back to your computer. Uh. And then open up iTunes. Now, what you should see here is iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So now you want to go here, and now you're going to want to restore the phone. Click restore and update. And there you go. Now you're going to want to wait for the iPhone software update to be done downloading. I will fast forward this video to when the download is complete. Thank you. And there you have it. iPhone is being restored. I'm just going to wait for this to be done. Um, yeah, I'm going to speed up the processor. Just need to hurry up a little bit. Yeah, this bypass will work for all devices, like I said. Um, sorry for using cracked devices. I mean, this is all I really have for the videos right now, besides my own phone. So, yeah. Again, I said this is very from gadget wide. I'm going to speed up this video real quick so we can hurry up. And there you have it. Um, it says there's no SIM card installed. I took that out. I uh, just reset the whole phone now. And. Uh, There you go. Let me set this up real quick.